Too long, didn't read. Just the facts, none of the bullshit. Today, Mass Effect Andromeda. Hi. If you've played any of the previous trilogy, you'll feel right at home. There are changes for good and for bad, but right from the outset, there is never any doubt. This is Mass Effect. Combat in Andromeda is outstanding, the pinnacle of the Mass Effect games. It's fast, fluid, and Ryder's powers are incredibly diverse and symbiotic. Bioware absolutely nailed it. The four-person survival mode from Mass Effect 3 returns, and once again, it rocks. The increased speed of combat does it wonders, and it's as addictive as ever, if not more so. The best bits of Andromeda are outstanding, with incredible writing, great voice acting, and heartfelt moments. The worst bits of Andromeda are terrible, a mash of horrible cliches, shallow characters and nonsensical plot. Wading through the bad to get to the good is frustrating to say the least. There is far too much padding, particularly considering that this is a 50 hour plus game. Too often, Ryder is tasked with meaningless or repetitive missions with inconsequential outcomes. And Ryder is boring as fuck, one of the most vanilla characters I have ever played, and that's with me controlling large parts of the dialogue. That being said, he does have a couple of memorable moments. I am gonna fuck your shit up. How's that for great? The last act of the game is incredible. The final missions, the touching moments with your crew, and the souped up powers at your disposal mean the last 10 to 15 hours of Andromeda are fantastic. Truly, as the credits rolled, I immediately wanted to start again. It's epic conclusion washing away the memories of the earlier frustrations. There is a great Mass Effect game to be found in Andromeda, but there are 20 hours of disappointment sandwiched between that greatness. If you can survive the slog, the reward is spectacular. We give Mass Effect Andromeda 4 out of 5. Have you ever wondered? If Asari can reproduce with the Angara? Hell yes I have. Oh, uh, wait. You have? Should we find out if we're reproductively compatible? I... I... Listen, no heart. Ah, oh, fuck!